Hi everybody, it's Vanessa here and I just wanted to show you my newly dyed hair. And I actually found in the craft section of Walmart, I found little colored hair extensions for a dollar. So you can't use hot irons or anything on them, but they just, they just clip in and they have pink and blue and purple and I have a couple that I put in because I'm keeping this color because underneath it's dyed black and a lot of it I would have to have the color removed and that's just I'm not damaging my hair like that but I am going to be buying some wigs off of eBay um, type in cosplay wigs and the last one that I bought was several years ago, or the first one I bought was was so um, so beautiful, and it was twenty two dollars. It came wrapped up in a netting, and it was so gorgeous. I mean, it looked like a oh, there you get to see my, the blue of my hair. And I wash my hair. I know it sounds gross, but once a week because. With my female hormones, I do not have that much oil in my hair like before and on my skin. So me being on my female hormones for about a year, um, all of my, a lot, a lot of my hair has gone away. I'm getting uh, laser hair removal. On my face once a month every four weeks we got to keep doing it and I finally have numbing cream to numb my mainly to numb my upper lip and my chin because I know you guys seen videos it's it's extremely painful yes and I'm having my Madonna tattoo on my back her name I'm actually having it taken off the main reason why is because you know, years ago, my boyfriend, you know, he was actually high on crack, for God's sakes. And he was one. He was the tattoo artist at one of the local tattoo artists. Um, at, he was like three different, three different workers and two owners. So he wasn't the owner, but, you know, he fucked it up. He was supposed to spell Madonna, but have it in like three inches in from where it's at so it's slowly being burned off and it oozes and bleeds and yeah gross um i am not getting my surgery like i thought i was going to um for my breast um augmentation and getting a lift my insurance will cover it but um I have to get my BMI, I think it's body mass index, I have to get my weight down. So I have to, my BMI is like around 31, 32, and I was 228, I'm 210. For the last six months, I keep staying around 25, 27. So I got to really watch what I eat, not diet, it's more of a change of life changing your life so um but i have lost a lot of inches off my belly off my neck off my face and my husband i felt so bad he bought me and i i had another pair that were six hundred dollars and they were given to me, and they were silicone breasts inserts. And um, a f old, an old friend of mine, um, her sister had cancer. But then her sister, thank God, remissioned, and it went away. Well, she gave her sister the $600 breast um, silicone um, enhancers. I just got a cheaper version, 25 bucks. They're just, I got to be careful because it's not as the 
um, what's he, what it actually is silicone and it's a thousand grams and it's a D size D. So size D is what I'm actually going to get. Um, but I have to have three major surgeries, at least two, possibly three major surgeries. It has to be done in steps because I have, um, tubular breast syndrome. It's where your breasts don't grow right. So, but yeah, I'm outside and happy. I mean, I feel bad that I'm not getting my breasts right now, but, and it's not just like getting a breast augmentation and lift like I was scheduled for. Someone made a mistake at the office and hospital, and I mean, I thought I would, I was exercising on and off until winter came. Well, like now, it's not cold, or like now, it's not uh, cold or anything, so I could actually, um, oh, there's something in my eye, and I hate that. It's not cold. So I could actually walk now, out, but I'm not, because it's going to rain. Um, but I just wanted to show you, we just walked in to Walmart to get me some diet root beer. Uh, there you go. Do you see it now? Do you see the, the, the blue? I hate, it's like, there we go. There we go. And, um, there we go. I'm going to try to take a photo of myself. Hold on. Selfie. Cheese. Sometimes saying that, but when you're in a camera mode. So I'm trying to take some photos, but I just, we walked into Walmart and they had the sports brawls I need and they were $5 and $7. So I'm just showing you what, what, what my, um, what they look like. So, so I really don't even have to, honestly, let me just show you. Because my brawl, actually, it doesn't just look, look look like a sports brawl. It also looks like a, my brawl doesn't just look like a, uh, it's not just like a, it, that's not just look, it looks like a sports brawl, but it could, pa it could pass for a bikini, a bikini top. So.
and this is size D. And that's, oh, Jesus, really? One of my damn things came undone. Here's my Hello Kitty purse. <laughs> and I have my TENS units I keep in here. And then here's my nails are done. Um, I do use the, I do it, I do acrylic on my own nails, actually. I do that. Um, when I'm, when my nerves are, when my nerves are okay, because it takes me like three to five hours to do them myself. You know, I have OCD, so. I, you know, when they, see when the light hits the, the hair just right, bam. So, I actually end up having regrowth, hair regrowth, and my hair actually growing um, as my hair dies out, the dye comes out. So, you know, it's, it's you know, um, I love the fact that I, I can use the splat. I'm, I'm staying to this color because I, because it works. It works in all the colors I want. You have to bleach your hair, and I'm not getting into that again. You know, it just ruins your hair. Um, I'd rather buy different colored wigs online, on eBay. And uh, la last month, I couldn't get my upper lip or my chin. I couldn't get it uh, lasered because it hurts so bad. You got to keep getting it over and over and over and over again. And electrolysis is even more painful. You can't be eating sticks. Stop that. Just it's little pine needle sticks, but see look. Sebastian, really? There's Penelope always running after always running after him. And that's all Maggie does is bark. If you, there we go. Penelope, Sebastian, I don't know what you can see and not see. There we go. Penelope. Penelope. Mama's baby girl. Mama's baby girl. But, oh, Jesus. Oh, thank God. I had a huge adrenaline rush because my, I almost dropped my phone. Thank God. I mean, this is a thousand dollar fucking phone. It's literally a thousand dollars. It's it's the um, the Samsung S8 Plus. There's a 9 out now, but um, with the cell phone company I'm with is Xfinity Mobile. Anybody that has Xfinity Internet, they can actually sign up to get a cell phone through them. And it actually feels so nice to have a... You know, my breast inserts in. It's not the fake that I got my surgery. It's the fact to help me feel better until I can actually get my surgeries. Because, because of the tubular breast syndrome that I have, any genetic woman or trans, transgender woman can end up having the tubular breast. Um, the tubular breast issue. Well, it, it's not a, I don't think it's a, it's where your breasts don't, they don't grow right. So they grow out more in like a tube, tubular. So to basically, in one of my videos, you guys see my boobs, <laughs> but it's not bright. But, um, I get my, it's not, if, well, when I'm able to get my breasts, I would, if I, if, if I was thinner, I would be able to get it. 
In my opinion, I wish we could at least start getting the surgeries, at least start doing the one, but I understand, you know, the doctor wants me to come down um, more, so I have to probably lose my estimation with me being really overweight. Um, I really need um, to lose 60 pounds, you know, on top of what I've already lost. But this is what I would, um, this is what I would have them do. And I feel so free just having this on. And it's a sport, it's just a sports brawl. But it also looks like a, sort of like a bikini top. See? But since I'm overweight, I'm like, eh. And I have them in. trying to give you guys ideas and those are like my breasts that didn't didn't grow quite I mean they didn't they didn't grow properly it sucks I hate it because the fact how they grew now I have to like I can't just get um, a regular breast augmentation lift I have to actually have it uh, in stages I can get I can get the breast augmentation and lift in one surgery, but I got to keep having um, more surgeries to make my breasts look better. So, it is what it is. But, at least for now, and my husband is so sweet. I mean, I know, you know, me and him's been fighting on and off for the last eight months. Finally, we're not fighting anymore. We just kept fighting, you know, because we're struggling horribly, you know. With, with, there's a second collection company. And they're starting to dock his pay also. Well, we, we send them, they, I think they want 83 bucks. But the other one, it's like child support. They just take it out of your check. Regardless if you can afford it or not. They don't care that we don't have any money. We're poor. I mean, just because we have some nice things doesn't mean we're not fucking poor. You know? A hundred dollars. Shit, if we have a hundred and fifty every two weeks. Shit. That's rich compared, you know, <laughs> in my opinion. You know, I just... You know, oh, and my, um, I'm just, I'm just trying to just, I'm slowly getting back yet, yeah, you know, here and there. And I'm just dealing with a lot and I'll explain my mental health issues and stuff. Um, I'll have to sit down and pick a topic because I bounce around so much. It's because of my brain and because of all the trauma that I've been through. It's. I had an IQ done, and my strongest skill is ver verbal, but the processing and cognitive is not there, is what the psychiatrist said, and actually wrote. And 62 was my IQ. And um, so, yeah, I'm... I'm at, yeah, I'm mildly retarded, you know, which basically just means I'm, uh, hey, so I want you to dig there. Anyways, but I'm just, uh, I'm slow, you know, and, um, but anyways, I'm still really overweight, so this is why I can't get my surgery, is because my BMI is too is up too high he wants it at least down to like a a fifth he wants it it's like 34 or 31 or 33 or something he wants it actual my dog my plastic surgeon wants it down to like uh i would say he wants it down to like 20 or 25 well for god's sakes you know, that's, you know, 
I'm already eating a lot of lettuce and vegetables and stuff, so. At least I can get the laser hair removal. And the lady that owns the business, you know, very reasonable prices. You know, she'll work with you. You know. Her name is Jolie Young. And she's in McMurray, PA. Up by Washington, PA. And if anybody is in the area of, um, it, you know, and is willing to travel 45 minutes one way, you know, she just doesn't just see transgender women. She sees you know, genetic cis women. Um, that's the term, if I'm saying it right. I know I don't, I don't really know what that means, but a basic genetic woman or genetic man, you know. But, um, I don't like labels. But her, Jolie's, Jolie's phone number for scheduling um, laser hair removal. They also do injections of... Juvederm that has lidocaine in it, and um, they also do Botox. Affordable prices. The Juvederm, it all depends on how much you would need, but that lasts like nine months. Nine months. If you're in my area and need a good laser um, hair removal lady, um, her name's Julie Young. She's the owner. And her business number is 724. Her business number is 724-969-6005. So, 724-969-6005. So, but yeah. At least I have my... You know, breast inserts. And, and I just got these brawls. You know, I, I mean, these sports brawls. They were on clearance. I can't believe they had my size I needed. I got a 2X. I got three 2Xs and three 3Xs. So, um, I'm going to have my mocha coffee. Haven't had any breakfast. Going to have my mocha coffee with a shot of espresso and I'm going to and I made that here duh can't afford to buy it anywhere um I mean if my husband buys me a mocha a mocha um a mocha latte or whatever you know the frozen kind at McDonald's uh <laughs> that's a big thing um one morning on the way to the clinic uh, he got me one and it's like you got to order two because it's like you want the bigger size. And they have these skull mugs at certain Walmarts. Like five bucks. Hey, um, shout out to uh, Deborah. I love you, Deborah. Shout out to Brenda. Cheers. Coffee. Everybody that loves a good... Good coffee. And I put the sugar skulls up there. Cheers to Violet. I love you, honey. And she got me these skulls. For, uh couple uh, years ago. I love them. I just, basically, this is our kitchen. Part of it's the kitchen. Uh, we're going to be turning it into, uh, it might just stay my room. You know, the whole thing. Because um, we're planning on putting our, we're, basically take our balcony and and uh basically just put a wall up 
with windows and build the kitchen back there. A nice small galley kitchen. Um, but that's what we're that's what we're going to do um, whenever we're able to. Um, thank God, my husband was able to get uh, a couple of floor. He got two floor jacks because the and he and he pushed up the floor like by two inches because our 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 her our whole first floor from the one part of the kitchen over to the living room here and the bathroom and all this it all our whole first floor and all of the supports um they all need to be the supports and floor is old and rotting so they need to be all replaced that could be done probably within a day if we have enough people working on it and have the money. We also want to have a two-level add-on over there on top of the garage. So, rebuild the garage, take that old garage and everything. If, I had, the, if we had the money, it'd be, it'd be happening now. Rebuild the garage. We'd have our theater in there, which which would be our um, huge project, our projector, our projector screen, and our project, our projector. And oh, um, Xfinity Mobile. Um, I got my. We basically pay. Uh, very affordable rates for our phone, our phones. Um, uh, we're just paying for the price of the phone back, and every and in a year, within the first year of you having your phone, having your phone, if you want a different phone, all of the money that you put into your phone goes to the new buying of the new phone within the year. If you want to do that, like the nine is out. So by the time I get a new phone, if I want to get a different one, I can. It all depends. But I'm going to have to dial back. I'm shooting almost, I'm shooting in like ultra high dynamic range. It's basically 4K or very close to it. Um, I'm going to have to. I can change the settings on this phone. I'm going to have to change the settings because if I want to use the really cool mobile um, edit, video editing app, the two apps I have, Video Show Pro and Viva Video Pro, um, they can't be too big of a file. So it won't be... I can play around and lower the... Uh, Lower the, um, lower the, 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 uh, um, do you see how I'm tr having trouble thinking? It's, it's my mental health and how bad I am. Um, I hope to God I get my disability back. Probably won't have a hearing until, until 2019. But, uh. I love each and every one of you. And shout outs to Damon. I love you, honey. And uh and see my hair almost looks black, which is cool. If I would have known that most of the black hair color was gonna fade out, I used um Feria 21 bright black or something or starry night starry night 21 feria all of it went on nice but all of it on the top here here and here all faded but the long parts kept black that's why that's why I wish I would have just put the blue on 
because it would have been more brighter. I dyed a couple of fake hair pieces, but you can actually curl these because they're they're more like they're more real hair, and uh, they won't melt. The ones at Walmart that you clip in for a dollar, those are cute. Those will work. I clip them in, you know. Um, there's even like plastic surgery bands that you can get and tape, you know, that you would, you know, put under your hair and, you know, to pull back like this or this or like that. Um, uh, with a couple of clip ends or just my regular hair, you wouldn't even see the, 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 the tape. Um, I have ideas in the works, you know. Thankfully, my face is holding up pretty good. Um, anyways, I love you guys. I know it's been a jumble mess, but I love you guys. And you guys know that I try to do the best that I can. And I want to let you know something. On the good days, because I have good days. Today is a good day. If I was having a bad day and somebody had a psychic reading scheduled with me, I would talk to them and say, could we please reschedule your appointment with me for your reading? That's what I would do. Do not, please, do not get me having mental health issues. That has nothing to do with me being a physical medium and psychic and doing my readings and doing my channelings of your dead loved ones. Just because I have mental health issues doesn't mean that I can't, um, doesn't mean that that affects my spiritual abilities. It doesn't. It doesn't. Because it's totally different. So don't get my mental health issues. Don't get my mental health issues confused with my spiritual gifts. I still am one hell of a medium. If you ever watch The Dead Files, Amy Allen if it is a physical medium, and so am I. And I figured it out because um, I don't I, I see here sense. Sometimes smell and taste the dead. And what I mean by taste is if someone died died with uh, blood in their mouth, sometimes I can, they'll make me feel that. And I have a big story to talk about, but it's going to be coming up and it's going to have to be done Um. I, I'm going to have to just sit down and talk about it. And what what you would call fleshing out the story, that's what I have to do. Oh, I also have on my computer a good friend of mine and my husband both bought me the software. Thank God. And I love you, honey, for it. Obviously, I'm very great. I'm very grateful for your help. And you know who you are. I love you, baby. I love you, Hunty. But uh, um, I'm using Wondershare, or it's called Filmora. It's getting hugely promoted through YouTube. All the music is YouTube friendly, and in the Walking with the Fur Babies. That was my attempt, and all I did was put a header on it that was rainbow and had flowers. I'll slowly learn how to use that software. I got to have my husband help me uh, with photo software. It's not that hard. I know how to take a photo, even if you're using the BIMP app. or the. I just need to find a, a good app. Or something, um, software, basically, 
for not just regular photos. I need to take a background, put it on. I can do, you know, put it there and then put my prices on there and then take my photo of my face and put it on there because I need to do that so I can put up some flyers and I'll be able to be put up a little poster of mine on the wall of the local hairdresser that does my hair. And they're actually putting a Dollar General in my local, or in our, in, up by the bank, they're putting a Dollar General they're building. And they, um, they've put in a small diner for breakfast and lunch. There's a cabaret in Delhi. Um, you know, there's, there's not a lot, you know, a couple of gas stations, a Dairy Queen, um, at least we have, the, the big thing is, I always talked about, they have a place that used to be called Bill's Dandy Dollar, and it was a deli and little food store and stuff, a Dollar General is what we need. You know, affordable food, affordable chips, pop, if you, you know, instead of driving to Walmart. Anyways, I gotta go. I love each and every one of you. Bye-bye.